Hi friends, it's Miss Desert from Riverside Regional Library. And throughout the month of April, I've been reading poems because it's National Poetry Month. Today is Great Poetry Reading Day. So, of course, I wanted to bring you two poems. So, both of these poetry books are compiled of different authors, different poems. So, this one is Poems Go Clank. So it has a lot of poems that have sounds in it, lots of fun ones that you can interact with um, your kids or students. Um, I suggest to come in, check this one out. And then of course we have children's poet, poems, sorry. And this has some of the greatest ones in it. The ones that we all know about. Mary Had a Little Lamb, Twinkle Little Star, things of that nature. And I'll be reading one from here too. We'll first take a look from this one. And like I said, this one is about different sounds. So I'm gonna read the sound collector actually. So we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures that we have. All right, the sound collector. A stranger called this morning dressed in black and gray, put every sound in a bag and carried them away. The whistling of kettles, the turning of locks, the purring of kitten, the ticking of the clock, the popping of the toaster, the crunching of the flakes. When you spread the marmalade, the scraping noise it makes. The hissing of the frying pan, the ticking of the grill, the bubbling of the bathtub when it starts to fill, the drumming of the raindrops on the window pane. When you go, do the wash up, the gurgling of the drain, the crying of the baby, the squeaking of the chair the swishing of the cur curtains, the creaking of the stairs. A stranger called this morning, he didn't leave his name, left us only silence. Life will never be the same. So I hope when I read those, you could picture um, each of these different sounds. Some of our other ones within this, as you can see, they actually go into the sounds. The dripping and the drops and the um, splish and the splash. And like I said, a very fun poetry book. So next, we're gonna look out of some of the greatest ones, like I was stating. This is a much larger book. And as you can see, some of the poems, they have multiple per page. Some of them is just one. So lots of great artwork. And I'm actually going to read one that is kind of linked with our summer program, which is Oceans of Possibilities. And starting in May, I'm going to start giving you hints and information about what programs we're having in house and how you can earn tickets and how you can be a part of the reading program. So stay tuned to that, it's just around the corner. So today I'm gonna read, so we'll look at the pictures here first. It is Seashell. Seashell, seashell, sing me a song, oh please. A song of ships and sailor men, and parrots in tropical trees, of islands lost in the Spanish main, which no man ever may find again, of fishes and coral under the waves, and adventures stabbling in great green caves, seashell, seashell, sing of the things you know so well. So we have these great pictures, a kid with the seashells, talking about the things that it would like to hear. Have you ever put your ear up to a seashell and you could hear um, sound throughout it? 
So that's what this poem speaks to me about. Feel free to comment below of what your favorite poem is, or maybe your favorite poet author. I would love to be able to hear. Um, and don't forget to stop by any six of our Riverside branches and check out some of our great poetry books. We have them all the way from children's all the way up to adults. And anybody at our circulation desk is more than happy to help you kind of see what we have. Don't forget, we can also get books in from other Riversides throughout Missouri and have them on hold and get them in for you. So if we don't have them, still let us know as we may be able to get them for you. Um, thanks for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed all the poems that I've read throughout the month of April. If you missed any of them, feel free to check out the rest on our YouTube page, and I will see you next time.